Just tried to keep my rhythm and timing um, in check throughout the game. I lost it a little bit there in the third after that long, long time in the dugout, but um, kind of bared down and made a couple pitches when I had to. Imagine that third inning. How much did Higashioka, Higashioka help you get through that third? He was huge. I mean, he had that big block, and um, we just had a, a pretty good game plan going into the day, communicating back and forth what we thought we needed to do, and um, we were definitely on the same page. You had said you'd been waiting since 2017 for this opportunity. Did it live up to, to the moment you thought it might? Yeah. I mean, I would have loved for 30,000 fans to be in the stands, but uh, definitely with the game season being on the line and um, just this team's got more fight, so it, it definitely lived up to it. Stephanie Epstein, you have the next question. Stephanie, please unmute. Okay, we'll move on. We'll go to Marley Rivera. Hey, Marley, along the lines of what Meredith asked you about cherishing this moment, in terms of uh, the five-game series, how much do you cherish look, you know, watching Garrett Cole on the now tomorrow? I'm excited about it. I mean, we got a guy on the mound. That's This is a good situation for us to be in. I mean... If we're going to have somebody out there, I want it to be him. So um, it's always fun to watch him. He's a great competitor, and he definitely leaves it all on the field. Joel Sherman, you have the next question. Uh, I, I actually did, thought I didn't raise my hand on this. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Bradford Davis, you now have the next question. Ooh, uh, hey, Jordan. Um, can you walk me through, I guess, what you were thinking or working through when you had bounced those three straight pitches? Um, who was it against? It was uh, Zanino? I think, yeah, I think it was Zanino. Yeah, yeah I, I, was, uh, well, I had him 0-2 and was just trying to make the perfect pitch instead of going right after him. Um, but I ended up getting him on the changeup. Uh, he's just too good of a hitter, and I definitely wasn't going to hang one and let him leave the park right there. Right. And, uh, you know, one thing you did appear to do quite well this year is, uh, you know, you got, got, got a lot softer contact from batters, you know, true basing. I'm curious if that's something you noticed and there's something you were trying to do more this year than in previous years. That's an adjustment. Um, that's just coming from being in the zone and changing speeds, um, which is uh, if when I'm pitching aggressive, um, I'm striking guys out, and I'm getting a lot of soft contact. So um, it, it's burned me a lot this year with some blue pits and stuff that I can't control. But um, that—that's what I'm going for. Yeah. Do you think the process that you that you established this year is like more results? Sorry, I'm not sure I wasn't muted on that. I was saying, <laughs> do you think that the process that you established this year is going to, you know, you know, I guess keep. Uh, returning good results down the line, like the back today. Yeah, I mean, soft, soft contact is going to do damage. So, um, usually, if you're getting soft contact, you're doing something right.